These shops in Sheffield and others like them up and down the country are still thriving businesses in their own right. However, lurking behind the high street, there are ever increasing waves of music fans that are flocking to the internet to either illegally download tracks or legally through mediums like Spotify or iTunes, leading some to question, are old formats like vinyl and CD dead or dying off? How has the computer and MP3 age really affected the industry? And whatever happened to our rock and roll? Son, and I'm in my studio right here. When did you first use a computer to listen to music? Um, I, I was a teenager. It was pretty cool because it was one of my first times I, I used a computer. I, I don't I don't much buy much CDs. It's usually downloading and sharing. Do you think that CDs, like vinyl before them in a way, are being replaced by mp3s and digital downloads and will eventually die out yeah i think they actually die now because the, this the digital copies are becoming huge and immense on itunes and you know itunes top 4 is top top 20 is that's what we're living with <laughs> the digital music is is like a new gen of of of, of music technology when listening to electronic music um, from artists like Skrillex and things like that. Do you notice any considerable differences to more traditional music played by real people on instruments, or do you just find the experience pleasurable? F music you listen to when you uh, you don't even, don't even consider how they were made, or, or the effort that they were put in to make that music, because it's just uh, I'm drunk or I'm having fun. Let me listen to this. I'm just I just wanna dance. After the technical revolution of the CD, the music industry never looked back and nothing has ever been quite the same. We now live in an age where music can be created, uploaded and shared digitally without any need for physical copies at all. This has been largely down to advancements in computing software like Pro Tools and GarageBand, which pertain to the digital creation or recreation of music and also due to the iPod. Uh, my name is Dominic Jenkins, I work in ALS at Rotherham College. Do you remember when you first listened to music on a computer? I was probably about 17 years old. It was probably like Windows 98 by then. That was about nearly eight, nine years ago now. So. When you go out and buy music, uh, when you do, uh, what format do you most purchase music through? Do you go out and buy CDs or do you find that you download stuff? Uh, I do a bit of both really. If it's a band I really like, I tend to go out and buy the CD from a shop. Uh, but at the same time, I do download quite a lot from iTunes. Do you think that formats like CD and vinyl before it are being replaced by MP3 and digital downloads and might eventually die out? I think they probably, probably are being replaced. It's all at your fingertips. You don't have to go out to the store. You don't have to pay any money out for it. Um, out, your, out your wallet straight away. So. When you listen to like CDs and hard copies and something that you can physically hold in your hand of particularly rock bands, so people who like, you know, have played the instruments on this mm -hmm. album. Do you get the sense that there's something special and somewhat lost about this way of producing music in relation to, you know, creating in a computer like artists like Skrillex and things like that? Yeah, you sort of, I think there's some, something lost in the, lost in it there, yeah. I'm not I'm particularly interested in someone creating the music on a computer. So, do you believe that the ability to create music on a laptop is a hindrance to the music industry, or more of a tool that artists could perhaps learn and benefit their music with? I think it can be a benefit, because I think it, no matter what type of music an artist is creating, they can all like use that programme to help edit their music to a certain extent. As digital music keeps rising, there are still those of us sticking with traditional formats we have grown accustomed to. Even if these formats become obsolete in the near future, we cannot and will not let them die out completely. Dance music continues to dominate the charts, but as it does, the question will always remain, whatever happened to our rock and roll? <laughs> <laughs> 